Hey, SFY, remember me? This drunk idiot has completely stolen my spotlight. Are these Olympics gonna be remembered for my awesomeness or Lochte's lies? First of all, we're not sure Lochte's told any lies. Ooh. So, but I do think there's a chance these Olympics will be remembered for Ryan Lochte more so than Usain Bolt or Michael Phelps, and here's why. And I say this in all seriousness, there's no joking in this. Someone's gonna do a great documentary on how Ryan Lochte was framed and <laughs> was exploited in this. And, and again, remember the OJ documentary, the 30 for 30 ESPN Vaguely, did? Yes. It was very good. And they tied it to race. They used to show the racial dynamics playing out in the country. Someone, 10 years, 15 years from now, is gonna do a great documentary that's gonna explore America's race culture and how it was driven by Twitter and social media to pit black and white people against each other through stupidity via Twitter, and Ryan Lochte's gonna be the jumping off point. How this guy and these group of swimmers basically did nothing wrong. A group of prison guards from Brazil put guns on them and demanded $400 for a broken sandwich sign, <laughs> yes. and America somehow collided over racial division, somehow that Gabby Douglas was mistreated <laughs> and Ryan Lochte was, was I, I don't know, yeah. celebrate. Phelps doesn't follow me on social media, so send him a DM and say, dude, bad news. 88 Olympics, you remember anything? Ben Johnson, steroids. 94 Olympics, do you remember anything at all? Tanya Harding takes, uh, you know, the Jeff Kaluli or whatever yeah. it is. Listen, drama and, and uh, fun off the field incidents, that's what steals the show.